check it, check it out. Yo, yo, tension. Hey, what's up, guys? This is the real triad. How you guys doing? I'm doing great. I hope everyone is doing fantastic. Today, I have for you guys a, rev a quick review of the Chicom CQB. Um, it's gonna be really quick because I might do it again, hopefully in the near future when I unlock a certain attachment. But for now, this Chicom is unlocked at level 37, doing damage between 17 to 25. This is a three-round burst weapon, and the ammo loadout is 36 per magazine size. The RPM of this weapon is 1,080, so this is a very fast weapon but being a three burst is not surprising i have to say first off i really dislike this weapon for some reason this gun just does not work i mean in general and in, in actual paperwork too this weapon shouldn't even be in the game reload speeds are slow damages are weak recoil is just even though being a three round burst weapon recoil is still very uncontrollable because to me it just it just recoils too high and Right now, in the game right now I'm using, I'm still using that, um, the foregrip, so it doesn't really make too much of a difference. But hey, you know, I haven't locked all the attachments yet, so I can't really say. So let's get right into the attachments, though. Reflex Sight. So Red Dot. I think the irons are clean enough, being that it's still kind of difficult due to its recoil. Adding a sight will help a lot, but I really try to work around it. But yes, I do recommend a, a Red Dot or any kind of sight on this weapon. Laser Sight. As most and all submachine guns should be, they should have a laser sight, and this gun is no exception. It's great with the laser sight. This gun is probably better than as hip firing than you are aiming down sight, so I really do recommend laser sight. Suppressor. Something I don't recommend do being that this gun's damage is pretty weak. I mean, in retrospect, it does take an average of you know four or more bullets to get a kill, and in rap and being a three burst, it, it knocks out three bullets already. But it just can't drop people for some strange reason. So I don't recommend Suppressor. But you do get that stealth bonus. So it's all about personal choice. Fast Mags. Being that this is the slowest reloading submachine gun in the game. I do recommend Fast Mags. It, probably, it changes it a lot. And it, I definitely do recommend it. EO Tech Sight. As most submachine guns should be fired from the hip. This one does need a sight. So EO Tech Sight I do recommend. Foregrip. Like I said earlier, the recoil is pretty strange and pretty high, even though it's a three burst weapon, so I do recommend foregrip. It does reduce its recoil a little bit, so have more control with your accuracy and increasing your accuracy, so yes, I do recommend foregrip. Quick draw handle. Now, not necessarily needed because this gun, you don't fire, you don't fire using aiming down the sights necessarily, so I don't recommend having quick draw handle. FMJ. As most of the machine guns shouldn't be firing through materials anyway, so if FMJ, no, not needed, not recommended. Long barrel. Alright, so now long barrel starts to be changing the game a little bit. Long barrel, I would recommend because increasing that 3 burst damage throughout a distance will definitely help with the weapon. But, I've never used it yet, so but I would recommend it. Target finder. As most sites, this is my favorite and probably the best attachment in my opinion of all the attachments. So yes, I do recommend target finder especially for this weapon where you might want to have a sight extended clip okay extended clip changes it from 36 rounds per magazine to 48 so having that 48 bulls is great for some reason i feel like i'm going through the bullets extremely fast with this gun like i tend to run out and everything so having that 48 rounds rather than 36 will definitely change the game a lot select fire now this is where I want to build, this is an attachment I have not unlocked and I want to unlock it to try the fully automatic aspect of this gun. It will reduce its RPM by 10% but having that fully automatic it might change the whole retrospect of this gun. So I've never tried it so I can't give you my opinion on it yet but from my opinion right now I think having that slow recoil will supposedly it, it has re, re increased recoil but I wouldn't understand why being that you do reduce your RPM by 10%. So I'll find out and I'll hopefully do a review again. Rapid fire. Okay, so this increases your RPM by a lot. I'm not exactly sure what number, number, but it does decrease your range by 75%. And this gun already doesn't have a great range. So I honestly don't recommend it. And millimeter scanner. As most attachments of this kind, you know, I would recommend the sight. And even this sight, I would recommend just because you have a sight. The S... The, the actual irons aren't that clean for most, I would assume. I mean, it's pretty, it's work, it's manageable, but a little bit difficult. So that's a Chikom, Chik oh my god, the name's so hard. Chikom Q, 
CQB. <laughs> I'll hopefully do another review of this once I unlock that select fire, so I can give you guys my opinion on the fully the fully automatic aspect of it because. Being a, a really difficult three round burst weapon, having that slower RPM, so hopefully have more controllable recoil, will change the game. So hope you guys like this video. This is the Chacon. I don't know if I'm even saying the name right, but hey, you know, I don't care. I This is a really bad gun. I don't like it. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh yeah, I do score a 20 and 5, so it was, it was a pretty good game overall, I think. Alright. <laughs> Peace.